Hey guys, what up? It's Goose TV here again today, and today I'm back with another Madden Mobile video on my channel. Now, today's the video, guys, we have top polls of the week, week 16. Another fantastic week for you guys. For whatever reason, this week we got not many submissions. We had one of the lowest turnouts in a while, um, but we were still able to make a top 10. I got a really, a bunch of really fun submissions this week, so all of you guys who sent stuff in, thank you so much. If you want a chance to be featured in next week's top polls of the week video, make sure to send your polls in to goosetoppolls at gmail.com. Once again, goose top polls at gmail.com. Please leave a name with your submission so I do I know who to shout out if you do make it on the video. I always have to leave people out of people that don't submit their names, so please do that. It would really help me out. I would really, really appreciate it. And we got Thanksgiving tomorrow. We got Black Friday coming out on Friday. So next week's top polls of the week video is going to be a banger. I know we're gonna have a bunch of submissions, so make sure to send stuff in if you do get it, because you never know. Stuff might make it that you may not think would and all that fun stuff. You'll see, you know, kind of an example of that this week. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. 70% of you guys aren't subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's try to get this video to 150 likes. Without further ado, let's get right into Top Polls of the Week 16. At number 10, we have a poll from Craig L. Here, this is a feast pack. It's the 1K gem pack in the store. And the players you get from it are 375 plus players, and he was able to pull three elites. You can't see the other one. I didn't include the other picture that he sent, but three elites, 280 feast players, uh, you know, as three players, and then an 85 as well. And those 85s are worth a lot of coins. So, Craig, thank you for sending this poll in. Let's move on to number nine. I always love seeing these kinds of polls, pulling the current program cards in packs. Obviously, it's only a gem or Madden Cash pack, the program elite pack, but Playmaker Tim was able to send this in. An 87 Clyde Edwards Elaire and an 84 Jamal Dean, Jamal Dean, but I know he pulled this card before they started going down in price. These used to be like 2 million coins of Feast players before they got more abundant and started dropping in price. So these cards were going for a lot for a while, and I just always love being able to pull these kind of cards, you know, the current promo cards in pack so tim thanks for sending this in and let's move on to number eight now i thought more people would send something like this in this week but jeremiah was the only person to send this in this is from the gobbler event where you have the chance at pulling you know a select pack of the feast players or you get the mac and cheese i've done this like i think now 15 times and i haven't pulled an elite feast player I haven't gotten one of those i like said i thought a lot more people would be sending this in uh, i wanted to include it it's pretty fun and i only got one submission from jeremiah so jeremiah thank you for sending this in and let's move on to number seven at number seven, we have a pull from Jackson L here, a program plus pack, so not a program elite pack, and was able to pull a flashbacks Jarvis Landry. Unfortunately, it is only the 40 power version, but the 80 power master versions that were Evo uh, weren't auctionable. So obviously, these are the only cards you can pull, and uh, still a really, really fun card to be able to pull in the 88 out of a program plus pack. That's a really, really good pull. Jackson, thanks for sending this in. And let's move on to number six. And once again, the Program Elite Pack is back on the channel for multiple times in an episode. This poll is from Sir Charles here. Uh, we see these kind of polls pretty often. You know, a lot of top polls episodes have had these kind of stuff on here. But uh, Daniil Hunter, 88 defensive end, top 100 pack master out of a Program Elite Pack. Not much else to say. Uh, no elites guaranteed in the pack. And pulling something like this that's worth a lot of coins is pretty sweet. Thanks for sending this in. Let's move into the top five. At number five, we have a pretty similar poll, a program elite pack once again, and we got a poll from Ryder here, 89, Devin Bush, which is one of the captains from the uh, Field of Fear kind of field pass, so similar to like the 91s we would have right now. So once again, these kind of polls are always really, really nice. I don't open program elite packs unless this is, it's from the field pass, so you know, if you got it from that, then that's absolutely fantastic. Amazing poll. Thanks for sending this in, Ryder. Let's move on to number four. Now, for the first time this entire year, the weekly legend polls did not get sent to me this week at all, which is, I don't know how, I don't know why, 
like I said, I got a very limited amount of submissions this week, but I did get this submission from Logan Dombrowski, which I thought was really, really cool. Don't get to see these very often. I think we had one more of these throughout the year earlier this year. Uh, Future Legends Pack. I believe it's a 2K Legends Pack in the store, 2K Gem Pack, and you have a chance of pulling some Legends. I'm not sure if you can only pull the current week Legends or you can pull any Legend, so this might have been a couple weeks ago, but a Warren Sapp Legend pull from a Gem Pack from Logan here. That's a great pull. Makes up for those Legends not being in, you know, submitted this week. So, Logan, thanks for sending this in. Let's move on to number three. Now, what I normally do for these kinds of polls, I do the kind of the first episode after the field pass comes out where everybody gets all of their first power ranking polls in. And then I really don't usually include them in later weeks of top polls of the week. I don't like to do a lot of repeat polls for things like this, but for the sheer amount of just not great stuff that got sent to me this week. Well, a lot of stuff was great, but just not a lot of stuff got sent to me this week. I thought I'd still include this. It's still a really good poll. Power rankings poll from the power rankings event. Danny F3 was able to pull a Terrell Adams from that event. So, uh, Danny, great poll. Thanks for sending it in. Let's move on to number two. All right, at number two, we're starting to get into some boom or bust polls here. This poll here is from Jameson Wallace, the Feast Boomer Bust Pack, which is currently in the store for either 1,000 gems or 500 Madden cash. You get a 75 plus uh, S3 player on uh, the, the road trip to the playoffs player and you have a chance at pulling some of those feast boomer busts which jameson wallace did here you also have a chance of pulling i believe all of the feast players or something like that which is absolutely insane i was hoping someone would send that to me this week because i don't know what that looks like but uh unfortunately it didn't this is the only boomer bus pack that was sent to me this week jameson wallace was able to pull the cam chancellor that's super exciting that it's finally back super cool pull from jameson here thank you for sending this in and let's move on to number one Once again, the only poll to be sent to me this week like this was this poll here from Tevin Lane, Cam Chancellor once again, but from the live events this past week, not today, not sure why they're not today, but other than today, the last few days we've had these boomer bust uh, you know, the 90 players, the Feast players in the Feast events, so you have a chances of being able to pull them. This was the only one that was sent to me, and we can kind of see by the amount of plays that he played here, it wasn't a lot. Obviously, he had, you know, a good amount of sides. This was definitely, like, maybe four, five, six plays, but he pulled two high-quality macaronis, too, which I thought was pretty funny, because that those are not easy to pull, and I think he, he got pretty lucky on those, too, so that was a really, really good kind of set of opening there of those spicy events, but Tevin, thank you for sending this in, and congrats on being the number one top poll of the week for week 16. There you have it, guys. Top polls of the week 16. Another fantastic week for you guys. If you want a chance to be featured in next week's Thanksgiving and Black Friday episode, send your polls in to goosetoppolls at gmail.com. Please leave a name with your submission so I know who to shout out if you do make it on the video. Tomorrow's videos, we will have a cornucopia pack opening, assuming that they will be in store. I would fully expect them to be in the morning, and then we'll have some sort of Thanksgiving day guide maybe in the afternoon. Not exactly sure. I'm going to try to time everything out so we can get a couple videos out tomorrow. But yeah, guys, today's post notification shout out goes out to Cute46. Be the first person to comment out a video for the next video's post notification shout out but anyways guys that is just about it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy it if you did make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm goose tv and i'm out i will see you guys later